Alrighty y'all, we're going to Joe Retro World. Today, I'm going to show you how you can play PlayStation 1 games on your modded Wii. Alright, let's check it out. So, here I have my Wii. Let's start her up. Got the homebrew channel over here on the uh, right side. But first, I want to go... Uh-oh, let me adjust this camera. Apologize about that, y'all. Go over here to the Wii settings. Scroll over to the internet. We're going to go to connection settings. Wireless. Uh, let's use, uh, what is it? Change settings. Okay, so we're using this one. Okay. Uh-oh. There it is. That's my phone. So once I got it connected, it's going to test. Alright, so the connection test was successful. It connected to the internet. Do I want to update my Wii? No, we're never going to update our homebrew Wii because it will clearly break it. Alright, so now that I connected to the internet, I'm going to go ahead and back on out by hitting the A button on the Wii until we back on out completely and back out again. So now we're going to go ahead and open up our homebrew channel. Having your Wii modded in 2024 really is beneficial, y'all, because it can do so, so much. I mean, I have an emulator to play Super Nintendo, and now I have an emulator that can play the Wii um, PlayStation 1 games. That is just crazy. Now, this is an older, you know, emulator, but it's just recently been updated to perform way better. So it's pretty cool. And the place that you go is you go to Homebrew Browser, okay? And you're going to load it up. And this is why you have to have be connected to the internet. Is so that it can go and help you find all the emulators that you want on their uh, their channel. Okay. So it's going to go through. It's going to do all this. I like the way it does that. And then you go up here to your emulators. Okay. And you click A on it. And then you just go down to you find the Wii Station PSX emulator for Wii. And right here I already have it selected. So that's why there's a check mark. Oh look, what is this? This one has a update. That's another video. Hold on. So we're going to open it up and it's going to show you. It's a Sony PlayStation 1 emulator for the Wii or Wii U. Okay, it's forked with the Wii SXRX by Nias featuring new dynamic recompilator. And there's some more information. I'm pretty sure if you Google it, you can find all the information on there. So this is the guy that made it. This is version 3.1. I mean, 3.2. It's size is 2.8 megabytes. And it was recently updated as early as... Look at that. March 20th, 2024, y'all. That's cool. And it's compatible with all these controllers here. No zapper, no keyboard. But um, the GameCube and the Pro Controller... And the Joy-Con and the original Wii, so you can use all these with this emulator to play PlayStation 1. Now, mine's already been updated and uploaded, so it doesn't give me the option. It only gives me the option to delete. So, yeah, once you download and put all this right here, then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit the Home button. And we're going to return to the loader screen. Hit A on it, come on. So now we're going to go over to our Wii station. I'm going to go ahead and open her up. Now you can put games on your SD card in the front of your Nintendo Wii or a USB in the back. I've tested both. Games seem to be playing the same way either way. So it doesn't matter uh, whatever is more convenient for you. If you already have a USB drive that's full with um all your gamecube or nintendo uh, wii games then just get a larger uh, sd card for the front but i'll show you how to put those games on there okay so i already have some loaded and uh the way you load them up is you go over here to your load iso 
and you can load it just like I said from an SD card or a USB. I actually have both. Okay, I actually have both, and I'll show you what it looks like. So you go to SD card, and this is your list. This is your list of your games on my SD card. Each one has its own little folder, and it has the BenQ files. I'll show you that later in the end of the video. I'm going to show you how to do all this, okay, so you can load it on the SD card. But yeah, the games play perfectly. This is one of my favorite right here, and if you want to play it, you just go ahead and hit the A button on it. And it's going to open the file, and then you're going to go to your Q file, and you're just going to hit A. And it's going to tell you, hey, this is your English version 1.1 Q. This is the ROM label, ROM ID. For some reason, it doesn't show the size, I guess. I don't know. But it shows the country, origin, NTSC, the BIOS. shows the BIOS name. And then you just hit OK. And it's going to load it right over here. So it loaded it here, it's the NTS game, and it shows the controller that you're using over here. So pretty nice. And then you just hit play game. And boom. You have a PlayStation 1 game playing on a Nintendo Wii. <laughs> and it plays pretty darn good. Now there's some settings that you can do. As you can see on the top left, it has the frame per second. Now if you want to remove that, you hit your home button on your controller okay hit it once it'll take you to this screen you can either use your wii remote or just the d-pad on the controller to move down to settings hit a and from here you have all kinds of stuff all right now i don't know what cpu core i don't know none of this so i guess if you have something that's not working correctly you can change throughout these different cores to uh, see if they work right now this is the default light track all these are defaults I have not touched any of these I don't plan to touch none of those the only thing I'm messing with is the video I'm gonna go over here to video and I'm gonna turn the show frames per second off all right I'm gonna force NTSC so it can be in 60 frames per second no matter what the game is frame skip now nah, we'll just leave that off Screen mode, it's 4x3 already, so it's filling up the screen perfectly. You can do it 16x9, you can force 16x9, or you can do regular 4x3. So I do 4x3, you can do it interlaced, or you can force 240p. I can go ahead and force 240p. The thither, the thithering, um, I haven't played with this yet. I don't know if it actually works good, but we're going to go ahead and put none right now and as you can see filters binary trap and d flicker are already on there by themselves this helps to clear up the ps1 um screen you know because y'all y'all know what i'm talking about it was very weird looking edges you know it had this weird artifacting thingy so yeah that helps clear it up now when we go over here to audio hit a now with audio, I noticed that if you go down to the volume and click A on it, it'll change to loud. You click A again, it goes to loudest. I put it on loudest because I noticed that the audio, you don't hear everything like you're supposed to on the game. So go ahead and put it on that. I just push B to go back. And that's it for the settings. Now what sucks is I don't know how to save these. I've tried to save them and you got to do this every single time you turn this on. So every time you turn it on, you got to do all the settings all over again. But once you're playing and you switch games, like I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go over here to my uh, my USB drive, and I'm going to select another game. So let's try some Metal Slug X with the Red Blood Hack. It's a PS1 game, of course. So we're going to hit A, and as you can see, it's on the top left, showing that it's loaded. We're going to push up once on the D-pad. We're going to hit A to play the game. And there's no X data detected, of course. So we're just going to push A to start. And look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. He plays surprisingly well, y'all. Oh, you got to hit B. Yeah. Marco. 
Let me show you that they actually play good. Let me turn this light off. So it's being forced in 240p. Mission one, stop. Commercial of Toshiba 36A43 on the left. Ikigami uh, TM2098RH on the right. The pony cables to the Wii. It's not perfect, perfect. I, I don't know. Seem a little faster on the, like it's a little slow, right? <laughs> uh, you gotta love Metal Slug, y'all. So yeah. I'm gonna go try another game real quick. And so we're just gonna hit load ISO. And let me show you from the SD card. And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna play some um, Ray Christ. No. What was good? Let's try some Castlevania, y'all. Symphony of the Night. Now, I haven't tried this game. Let's see if it'll work. And it's really simple to actually load your ROMs. I'll show you that in just a second. Right after this testing of this game. So there we go. Oh, okay. Nice. All right, let's do all this. Hold on. I notice it sounds a little off. I don't know if I said that already, I'm so apologize. <laughs> Sorry for that. All right, let's fast forward to this, y'all. I need to see some gameplay. All right, let me adjust this lighting. All right, let's check it out. Just the the cool fact that I'm playing a PlayStation One game on a Nintendo Wii itself is just crazy, y'all. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world. It was not by my hand that I'm once again. You can go get the ROM hack of this, the Japanese version that's correct, and play it on here, y'all. Wish to pay me tribute. That is a possibility. Tribute. You steal men's That's souls crazy. and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> The villain always got to give a speech. Oh, I suck. <laughs> you can tell I don't play this game. Oh. oh, I forgot how to do that. Alright. 
I guess I'm messing around, y'all. About to die, she's about to come out and save my life, y'all. Check it out, check it out. Imagine how scared people were back in the day when they were playing this. No, All right, y'all. Let me go show you how to load these games. Yeah, that was fun. Let me go show you real quick. Now, when it comes to the Wii, you have SD card up here in the front. Okay. Uh oh. And you also got a USB in the back. If you got a homebrew. So let me take this card out. There you go. SD card. All right, let's go put this in the computer. All righty, y'all. So I got my USB drive and my SD card put into my computer, okay? And so now I want to go ahead and load up some games. Now, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and make a file. Let me go ahead and set this camera up a little bit. Now over here on the right side of the screen, I have my USB drive right here. It's a USB drive E, okay, right here. Now I went ahead and made a folder and named it W E, I mean W I I S X R X. All right, and then inside that folder, I went ahead and put another folder, a new one, and I named that one ISOS, I S O S, okay. And now in here, when you double click it, open that one up, this is where you're going to put all your ROM files. So this is where I got all my PlayStation 2 backups. And I'm going to fix in and move another one there. So just go ahead and get your ROM file back up. And just, you can either click or paste, drag, click, whatever. Either way you go, just move it over to your USB ISO file right there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is called drag and click. Just drag it let go of the button boom it automatically starts copying it over okay so we're gonna let this finish now once this is done finishing then you just go ahead and hook it up to your usb uh drive in the back of your wii like normal and like i showed you on the gameplay before just go load your iso either from the sd card or the usb now you can um like i said you could just make a photo the same way w i i s x r x on the sd card on the root of it inside that um make that file and then put the iso file inside that and then drop all your ps1 games over there too and you can do it either way it's cool so that way you can have double the space you know you can have all your usb drive and the sd card and just yeah and just really enjoy yourself so yeah i hope this video helped you out 
So until next time, y'all, until peace, much love from Joe's Retro World.